Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. I'm standing outside Moscone South, where Steve Jobs has just wrapped up his keynote for Macworld 2008. Let's run through the announcements. So the first announcement Steve made was a new Airport Extreme with a hard drive in it. It's called Time Capsule. And the idea is to be able to use Time Machine on your MacBook or MacBook Pro remotely. So you would just basically be hooked up to your wireless network at home and it would automatically back up to the hard drive in it. There's a 500 gig version for $300 and a one terabyte version for $500. Steve also announced an iPhone software update, which was largely expected. Just a few minor things. One is that Maps knows where you are based on local cell phone towers. Also, you can make bookmarks of your favorite websites and put them on the customized home screen for the iPhone now. These are just software updates and they'll be pushed down for iPhone users later today. There are also announcements for the iPod Touch. So the iPod Touch got a few features that iPhone users have always had, like mail, stocks, notes, and weather. These are mostly things that use the Wi-Fi connection on the iPod Touch. They're going to cost $20 for people that already bought the iPod Touch, but new users will get them for free. Another big announcement was iTunes Movie Rentals. You'll now be able to rent movies on iTunes from all the major studios. Looks like there's going to be thousands of titles available, and they'll be available 30 days after the DVD release. It's going to be $4 for new movies and $3 for some older titles. And you'll be able to stream these, so you'll be able to start watching before it completes download. Apple TV is getting a software update, so all existing Apple TV users will be able to do new things like rent movies, subscribe to podcasts, look at photos on Flickr, and to be able to do this cheaper too if you're a new user, $229 for an Apple TV now. You'll also be able to get HD rentals for $5 for about 100 titles available. Steve saved the best for last. It's a new super light, super thin laptop called the MacBook Air. It's got a 13.3 inch screen, it's 3 quarters of an inch thick, it's got an 80 gig drive or 64 gig flash drive. And it's only about three pounds. It's got a super small 1.6 or 1.8 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor. And it's got a multi-touch trackpad, but no optical drive. That's going to be $99 extra. It's got two gigs of memory standard. I think this is going to prove to be a very popular laptop, and it's what a lot of people have been wishing for. This is Gary Rosenzweig reporting from the Moscone Center in San Francisco at Macworld 2008. It's got an 80 gig drive or 64 gig flash drive, and it's only about three pounds. It's got a super small 1.6 or 1.8 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor. All right, that's one decent take with a Segway.